Okay, so the cows are still out, only just. I'm gonna put a couple of round bales out for them in a minute. I've got about two days worth of grass left, I think. Literally, I'm stretching them out. The weather's, it's still sunny, you see, but this, the ground's getting wet. So they're in at the cubicles at night, but I've not feet opened the clamp yet. So I'm gonna put a couple of round bales out, but in the meantime, John, the beekeeper man, is here. And you know, he's got the bees on the farm. Well, he's nearly ready to seal them up for winter, but what he's doing, he's gonna put some feed in for them. So I'm gonna go and film the feeding the cows in a minute, but we're just gonna have a look at him feeding the bees. He's got some fondant with him, which is the last feed before winter, I think. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Here we are, bright sunshine in the winter. Right, John, what have you got here today then? Baker's fondant. Baker's fondant, what on earth is that? Is that like icing on the cake or something? I think it is, yeah, it says 100% uh, Baker's fondant. Candy fondant, I could eat that. Yeah, so what is it? Is it just uh, like icing sugar and where are you putting that? Just put it on top of the, the frames, the hives, on top of the uh, right. frames inside. And okay. that's like a winter... Can reserve. we have a look at it inside? Yeah, let's go. Let's have a look. Can we try some? Can we try some? <laughs> oh, I'm brother-in-law here. Yeah, I want What's to try What's your name? Some. Luke. Hello, oh, Luke, right. Sorry, mate. Do you know anything about bees? I haven't a clue. Not Neither is John, clue. actually. <laughs> We're learning as we well, go. Is that nice? Oh, it's solid, isn't it? Actually, yeah, it's really sugary. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I could eat that. But that's what they're going to eat through winter, mm. if, the, if the honey reserves run out. So it's just a <laughs> bit of it. So it's all of icing sugar, isn't it? It is, yeah. You could have made that up yourself, John. <laughs> well, some people do, apparently. But right. You know, I'm very new to this, so I thought let's just buy it and start off doing it. Oh, God, my battery's nearly flat on here. We're going to run out of battery in a minute. I better watch you quick do that. Yeah. Mm. Right then, let's see how we go. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Bingo. Oh, it's still there. Wow. Is that a little tray you're putting the stuff in? No, that's the uh, varroa treatment. Varroa treatment. Oh, yeah, that's to stop the varroa mite, isn't it? Correct. Here we go. So what are you going to do with that then? Just going to put it in the smoker, give it a down a bit because I want to encase it. Right. Oh, it's all going wrong. Yeah. Oh, no. When you're on film, these things go wrong, don't That's they? It. Burn them. Burn them, right. So you're putting them to sleep a little bit or calming them down. Drowsy. Make some drowsy. Oh, they are quiet, aren't they? Look at that. They're not worried at all. It's good for me and you because yeah, we're not wearing anything. Yeah, at this moment we get a swarm of them coming to us. Right, <laughs> yeah. so we're putting this in. And where are you putting that? You just on top of it. All of it? Yeah, whole thing. Smearing that over, are you? Whoa. It's rock solid, it's cold today, isn't it? Oh, like, look at that, wow. So what are you going to do, spread it out or just leave it in a lump? Just leave it on a lump on top. Blimey. And the bees will basically find it. And they'll just go on that. Just like me putting a round bale silage out then for the cows, you're just putting their feed out. It's just in case. Yeah. They should have plenty of honey, looking at all the frames above. Okay. And how long will that last them? Hopefully until uh, spring. What, for a whole winter? What, that whole lump? Yeah, well, they've got, they've got stuff already, remember? Oh, so they'll have the honey and that? Yeah. Okay, right. 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 Right, and you're pushing that down amongst all the frames then, yeah? Just other little go on, really. Okay. Oh, don't kill them. Just squash one in. Oh. <laughs> That'll do. And the lid's going back on. Nice. I'm looking forward to the day we have our first jar of honey out of this, John. Hey, we're going to sit round with some toast, <laughs> cup of tea, toast and honey. Now that is that. Oh, nice and simple. Next time, I'm, I think probably next time I stop the car, it's probably about probably a couple of quick working. January. Right, so, so you, will you take the lid off then or will yeah, it just, just have a quick look to see if there's some fondant left? Right. And if okay. there's not, uh, put another one in. Yeah. Just to get them through to spring. And when will you let them out in spring? Probably about late March. So that's sealed then between now and March then, well, yeah? We've got, got this on. Uh, so that's a seal there. This is a mouse excluder. Okay. So the bees can still come and go and get ventilation in. Right. And I've just put that on just to keep the wind out. Okay. So, a bit extra. Right. 
a bit warm inside, but they've got like a vent at the top, so mm. cool air will come in, moist damp air will go at the top. You didn't use much smoke at the end, is it? I mean, are they drowsy in the winter anyway? Yeah, quite drowsy. So they're drowsy anyway, you don't really need to use a lot then. You can okay. see they're not, they're not coming in and out, yeah. Yeah, I can see one flying around just there. Oh. Well, I think now what's happening now is the drones, uh, the male bees, are yeah. not needed through the winter. So the queen basically, they, they, they get rid of them. They sort of so you them kick them high. out? Yeah, there's quite a few dead ones down there in the woods. Okay, well actually just lying around. So they die, once they're kicked out, they just die yeah, they just of die. Yeah. sort of exposure almost, is it? Yeah, no they, food? Yeah, because they'll take food to survive winter, so it's a survival yeah. thing. They don't need them, you see, because they've got Can I the see the dead queen. bees? Where are they? There's a couple of them. Where they climb over? Yeah, they're pretty dull something there, mate. Oh um, yeah, three. I can see the carcasses as it were, look there's yeah. another one there. The poor drones. Oh look at that mate, you've had a bad life haven't you? <laughs> Chucked out of the hive by the missus. <laughs> it's just a bit like us if we get thrown out. You go, you're not coming home. Oh, get back over. Right, what, so. What do you think Rich, do you look professional or was it I think he's making it up as he goes along. I think so as well, he's semi-pro. John the semi-pro. <laughs> hey. right, this is. This is all good fun here, isn't it? I, this is a bit of an experiment. John started with that um, swarm that he got in the uh, box over in the tree there. We've got him in here, he's made his own hive. We'll report back when we've got some honey. Well, I'm going to go and put some rain bells out for the cows. The bees are out there, food, I've got to have mine. There you go, so the cows are uh, having access to the cubicles. I haven't opened the clamp yet. I'm just putting some rain bales out and the ring feeders out the back. I will be opening the clamp later in the week, but for now they're just coming in at night in the cubicles. It's getting a bit muddy out here. Otherwise, my hands are stinking silage. Get the right glove. Are you after that already? Flies, like bees around a honey pot, as they say. This has already been milked. Up. Where is she going? Whew. Don't really want to waste that on the floor. Come on! Ugh. Can't get my netting off. It's all going wrong. What's that caught on? Are you hungry? You're waiting, aren't you? Come on. It's caught around my foot now. Ah! Right. Let's take this. I think it must be caught. Get that bit. Oh. All right. Off you go. Ooh.
Okay, so you can see a bit of a mess here, but I wouldn't worry about that because some of this soil is going to be shifted from here later next year. We'll talk about that another day. But in the meantime, I'm just putting this last bale out. I don't think the cows have worked out. They had, they had bales here last night and then uh, they haven't worked out. They've got to come back here after milking it. I think they really want the clamp open, but that's not going to happen today. Uh, I'm just stretching out because I don't really want to do it at the weekend. 